and thoughts about it. Right then, who is Mr. Rich? I am. Sorry, he is. There he is. That's the one. Pay up, you philanderers, are just for you. Pay up. No, no, please calm yourself. Now then, Cindy, is this the man you claim to be the father of your child? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> is that her, Filthy? Is that the girl that I'm supposed to have... Yes, yes. If she was 20 years younger, she might be quite attractive. But she's lovely, Filthy. Lovely. The sort of girl you want to really, really cherish. I have never seen this girl before in my life. You lying scoundrel! <laughs> oh, don't cry, little one. I can't help it. He's ruined me. Oh, don't worry. It'll be all right. Little lambkin, snuggly, waggly, nosy, nosy. Uh, Doctor, I think you'd better get me a bucket. I'm going to be horrendously sick. <laughs> Hang your head in shame, Eddie, you cad, for what you've done to this poor girl. Why, I have got a good mind to punch you right in the face. He's not making playing this part very easy, you know. <laughs> Listen, daughter, shut your eek. It's you that did it, not Eddie. We're trying to get you out of this. <laughs> Could we get on, please? All right, bitch, hold your horses, all right? The NHS paying you enough out of my wages. <laughs> this filthy. When I agreed to this cruel deception, I never dreamt the girl would be so unutterably lovely. Look at that, yummy, 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 and uh, while you're out, could you get us 50 high tar ciggies? Right, you have it, some of the baby's blood. It just remains to get yours. If you'd step this way, please. OK, Doctor, but go easy. I don't mind the sight of blood as long as it isn't mine. You should have thought of that before you ruined my daughter! Are you going to breastfeed it? Not at the moment, no. I think you should. <laughs> go on, pop one out. <laughs> please. It's a very emotional time for me. If only you knew, my pretty young maid. If only you knew. Perhaps today will turn out a happier day than even you expect. Oh, he'll be happy enough when that slimy rat in there pays up the maintenance. Well, no doubt about it. The tests prove positive. This gentleman's blood is from the same family as that of the babies. <laughs> Although somewhat diluted. <laughs> That's my blood. Neat lager. If you're quite finished, Doctor, thank you. <laughs> oh, no, oh, no. You filthy quack. Are you saying this man's blood is positive? I knew it, I knew it. I am the father. Well, what, is, what is this man talking about? Never mind him, he's mad. Will we be able to sue for maintenance? Uh, certainly, if you excuse me, I'll get the relevant test certificate. Wait! Stay your hand, Doctor. The time has come for the truth. Now, Richard, quick, get off. The baby's father is not this sad imposter whose blood happens to coincide, but none other than I. Richie Rich! Oh? Richie Rich, PBS, Lynx, 1972. <laughs> Maintenance! Forget it! I'm going to look after my baby, and you, Cindy, I'm going to give you a home and make you an honest woman. I love you and our baby, and I can't wait to start work on another one. <laughs> oh, darling, aren't you happy for us? This is so dramatic. Somebody should make a film of me now. This isn't what you said would happen, Eddie. Yeah, I must say, I'm surprised myself. Right, let's take the plans off. No money's worth being associated with an idiot like him. It would have been bad enough people thinking I'd slept with him. But live with him? No way. I'm sorry, Cousin Eddie. You lose your half for the maintenance, but you do understand. Yeah, I certainly do. I live with the bastard already. <laughs> well, bye-bye, Cousin Cindy. Bye-bye, Auntie Myrtle. <laughs> Bye-bye, Doctor. <laughs> please, please, will somebody just explain to me exactly what is going on here? Oh, bloody hell, Richie, you thick. It was a plot. That was my cousin. Her and her boyfriend needed some cash for the kids, so we worked out if I took the blood test, being a relation, it would prove positive. We could all have some of your cash. <laughs> but it was Filthy's idea. Yes, yes, I was in for a cut as well. We all were. If you hadn't got so sentimental, it would have worked perfectly. My own agent and my best bloody friend and minder tried to defraud me for my cash. Yeah. <laughs> right, that's it, you're sacked. That's right, Sir Aku Ed. <laughs> I got for you too, Auntie Bloody Myrtle. Richie, darling, you can't sack us. You need us. You need us to sort out that other little problem. What other little problem? Drink a pint of milk a day. <laughs> Right, 
Signing the lifeless corpses to the icy depths. With your neck. <laughs> Unless you sling your rope right now. Eh? It's all right, I've watched the Sweeney. I think he means go away. That's right. <laughs> You're very lucky boys, because we've got important police business to do here. So I'll be. <laughs> Let's start chucking him in. Keep an eye open for lefty. All right. <laughs> well, I mean, if the Home Secretary had financed more cell space, this sort of thing wouldn't be necessary. <laughs> Too quiet. be the fun of that. <laughs> all right, keep knocking the police, but you try getting out of a stupid plot like this. They're all <laughs> bastards anyway. Yeah. Look, I've had just about enough left-wing soapbox rhetoric for one week. If you don't like the police, next time you get beaten up, try calling an alternative comedian. <laughs> 